My lord, these two scoundrels tried to molest this woman yesterday night. I will not tolerate anyone disrespecting anyone, and especially a woman in my empire. Nobody has the right to demean or play with a woman's honor. Both these douches ought to be pelted with stones through the citizens until they die. To set an example, you heard me. Please, please, please forgive, forgive us. us. Uh, we, we beg, beg your, your pardon. pardon. Uh, please. please. The Emperor of Ujjain, Vikramaditya, was justiceful, intelligent, and mightiest. He loved hunting so much that he would invariably go on hunting every morning, and would hunt some animal or the other. Vikramaditya considered every citizen of his empire as his own family and so he without fail protected everyone before they could be troubled and hence a lot of people often gathered in front of his palace to offer him something or the other which he invariably accepted with humility Greeting saint This is for you my lord What's this? How did this gem get into this fruit? Sorry, I don't accept such expensive presents from anyone, saint. Who are you? My name is Karl Bhairav, and I have given this gem to you in place of your bravery. What do you want in place of this? Please tell me. I'll definitely offer you that. Huh? I need one of your knight. in place of this gem vikram meet me in the old ruin amid the jungle on the coming no moon night vikramaditya immediately agreed to the conditions laid by the saint to return his favor and then on the next no moon night he went to the place where kal bhairav had called him kal bhairav had been performing some rituals and he appeared extremely terrifying there he had also kept skeletons in abundance but the emperor vikramaditya wasn't fearing any of that and went and sat next to kal bhairav and said so tell me saint what do you want from me there is a cemetery in 5000 miles from here amid that cemetery there is a banyan tree and there is a corpse that's hanging on the branch of that banyan tree you have to get that corpse here emperor vikram questioned such a strange demand that was put forward by the saint kal bhairav and so he asked the saint the reason behind wanting the corpse but the saint refused to answer the question vikramaditya crossed the dense jungle and reached that banyan tree in the cemetery and got bewildered to see the corpse hanging upside down uh, uh, uh. who are you yeah <laughs> yeah i am betal but the question is who are you <laughs> Vikramaditya did not fear seeing the corps laughing and responding to him even for once. He pulled Bital towards him and forcefully lifted him on his back and started to take him to Kal Bhairav. Hey, you haven't done said me yet. Who are you? And where are you taking me? I am Emperor Vikramaditya and I have come here to take you to Kal Bhairav He seems to be a brave and courageous man I can use him to get that Kal Bhairav killed <laughs> Are you planning to travel just like this or you are planning to say something 
Oh, you are a silent man, aren't you? At least, reply to what I am saying, huh? Hmm, I don't think he would say anything like this. Hey, if you won't say anything, then how we will cover such a long distance in this silence? Well, let me narrate a story to you and at the end of the story, you have to answer whatever question I would throw at you. But if you try to say anything amid the narration or even utter a word, then I would go back to that banyan tree you have brought me from. So if you say anything, I'd bid you farewell. And if not, then I would crush your head. Emperor Vikramaditya nodded in affirmation while he was walking and carrying Betal on his back. And then Betal started narrating his story. Vikram, have you ever witnessed a father disowning his daughter? Huh? So listen to this story very carefully. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and comment and to be the first person to watch our videos, make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications.